I have two questions for you. Now you will ask how you're going to ask questions in the video. Okay, here what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you the questions and you need to pause the video and answer those questions honestly for yourself, right? So then you can play the video again and then you can figure out whether you are right or wrong, right? So it's fine. Try this honestly because 90% of people don't answer this question right, right? So have your own answer. Tell me what happened if you like in a comment, okay? So today in this video, I'm going to explain you what is the floating point error or else known as floating point rounding error, right? What the computer is struggling to do that and why and how we need to prepare for that. Okay, here's the question number one, right? So this is a for loop, this is starting from 10 and go all the way up to zero and all in each cycle, it's a subtract 0.1 from the original number, right? For example, first time it will be 9.9 .9 and so and so forth, right? So you need to tell me when I execute this for loop, how many times it will execute? There's an original calibre, so I removed that. So you need to tell me how many times this will execute? That's the question number one. So question number two, you need to tell me, I mean, uh, this formula is very stupid and uh, doesn't make any sense, but just sake of uh, doing this formula. So salary is double variable with a hundred value and the interest is a double variable with the value is a three. So th three months salary divided by interest, right? So keep in mind the value does not affect the original value. So that means in simple every month 100 divided by 3, right? So and after third month we add all together and print the value. Okay, so now pause the video and come back, come back with the answers. Okay, so I hope uh, you have your own answers now, right? And let's go back and execute our for loop, right? So if you think this will end up with a 99 or 100 or 101, this is wrong, right? So you can see here, it's an infinite loop, right? It's go never going to end un unless it got some errors, but uh, it's never going to end, right? So you can say it's an infinite loop, okay? So let's stop the program and go back to here. This obviously we expecting here 99.99. The reason is uh, 100 divided by 3 is 33.33 and this 3 times is 99.99, right? So I'm going to comment out these values and execute this program and you will see answer is 99.99 is not the answer, right? So answer is 100. So why answer is 100 though we expect 99.99. So that is the mystery we are going to uh, solve today okay so uh, let, let's see uh, let's see why we uh, get this problem if you go with the usual 10 base number you will see you have a, a one place and a 10 place and the hundred and the thousands and like this right so when you represent the halves you will see like this right and something like this but when you get the binaries, you don't get this uh, numbers. What you get is a 2 and then a 4 and then um, 8 and the 16 and so and so forth, right? So when you go to this side, you will see half and you will see quarter and 1 8 and 1 16th and something like this, right? So if you see carefully, there is no way it to represent the point 0.1 or point 0.3 or something like this because that is not the way how binary works, right? So we need to take this into consideration when we do this back and forth conversion, okay. In the last video, if you remember, so this was the answer we got as our binary conversion, right? So we converted, if you remember, 9.1 into binaries and this was the value we got, right? So if you did not watch last video, you must watch that one before you come here because otherwise this will confuse you even more than what you have now, right? So you go and watch that video, uh, I'll put the link below here in the description uh, before you come here. Okay, so now, uh, but this is the what we got when we do this calculation manually. But I, uh, in last video, I put you in a screenshot what it gives you when you do this with the calculator which implemented this specification, right? This was different, the answer was different, right? So this was our answer, but when you do this with the calculator, what we got is something different, okay. Let us split out this. So this is our uh, bit which is used for the sign of plus or minus, right. So from here up to here, these 8 bit we got as a exponent, right. Remember that? 
and this part here 23 places we got as a mentisa right 23 bits as a mentisa so let's see where 23 ends right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so this is the where it ends right so this is the where this is the 23rd bit right so now here is the problem right this is what computer does when it has only space for 23 it look for the 24th bit right if the 24th bit is a 1 then add it is chop out all those things and the rest of the bits and then add 1 into the 23rd bit right if the 24th bit is a 0 then it doesn't matter it doesn't count that right it's same as if you go for the double position if you have a 1 in the uh, 54th place and then it add to the add 1 into the 53rd place right watch that last video so now here 24th bit is a 1 right so technically it has to add 1 into the 24th uh, bit so the answer would be uh, so when you add 1 here this becomes 0 and then this become 1 this 0 1 1 0 0 Okay, so this is our number, right? So if you check last video, so this was the answer given by the calculator, right? So now you know why this happened, right? So why why our answer and the why the calculator answer was different, right? This was a rounding problem. Okay, so now we let's see how this convert back to the original floating point value, right? How this binary number convert back to the original point value, right? So that will be quite easy, right? The follow me. So the first one, it just tells us a positive number. It's it doesn't make any. I mean, it doesn't do any uh, important meaning in this case, right? This one, this binary number is our exponent, right? So this, when you convert this value into the decimal, this comes as a one thirty, right? So remember, we talked something called exponent bias in the last video. That was a one twenty seven, right? So we need to subtract this. The answer is three. So that means our exponent value is 2 to the power 3, that means 8, right? So we solve this part, right? So now we need to solve this part. We need to convert this mentisa is back to um, its floating point value, okay? So if you remember how we converted the floating point uh, decimal places into binary, we multiplied by 2, right? So we do another way around here. What we should do is this is uh, 2 to the power minus 1. 2 to the power minus 2, 2 to the power minus 3, 4, 5, 6 and so and so forth. This is a 2 to the power minus 23, right? So, but uh, when, when the number is 0, when the bit value is a 0, it does not do any uh, change into the answer, right? So, only we need to consider whatever the values we have as a 1s here, right? So, if you see this, that means uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 2 to the power minus 3, plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 7 plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 8 and so on and so forth 2 to the power minus 22 this is the this is the last one minus 22 right so um, what I did is and you understand right so since this is multiplied by 1 and uh, so this has to multiply by 0, it does not give any input to the origin, uh, final answer. So that is why I skipped the, uh, these all zeros, right. So we can skip all zeros when you convert back, right. Okay. So what I have done is I uh, created an excel sheet for this one. Uh, if you see the formula for this, right. So this 2 into this minus 1 or whatever this uh, power 2 to the power this one and it multiplied by the uh, value of the bit, right. So now you can see all those zeros. So this is the our bit value. What we have seen here is a, a horizontally. This is its vertical form, right? I don't, I don't think you will confuse me about this, right? So now, so this is the final answer. For example, two to the power minus three is one uh, zero one two five. Two to the power minus seven is zero. 0.0078125 and so and so forth, right? But important is the final answer. The final answer is this, right? So now let's take this into here. So let's summarize this. So our exponent is 8, right? 2 to the power, which means 8. So our mentisa is 0 0.1375000048, right? 
right? That's our mantissa, right? So if you remember last video, uh, when we convert mantissa is back to IEEE format, we uh, skip the one part, right? So this was actually one point some value, but when we get the mantissa, we skip the one because always when you write it in the scientific notation, so this will become one. So we skip the one and we uh, written down the rest of the bits, right? So that means when you uh, do the back conversion, you need to add one for this, right? So this will become 1.13750008, right? Into 2 to the power 3, which is our exponent value, right? So now let's do this conversion um, here itself, right? So this is what happened when we add one, right? Good. So now this need to multiply it by two to the power three. So this is our exponent value, right? So here you go. Your answer comes. This answer comes. 9.1000, uh, how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 8. I mean, if, if I miss 1, 0, just ignore that, it doesn't important here, right? So, but if you remember last video, we convert 9.1 into binary and then we convert that binary back into floating points what you got is not 9.1 rather than 9.1000038 right so now you realize when you convert back and forth float into binary and byte into uh, float back you get this some additional value because of the rounding what we have done okay so now let's go back to our for loop and do a little change here right so i'm going to tell if right so if the value is uh, less than 0 then break this right so this is a very simple change if the value is less than 0 just break it so now let's execute this and see what happened here right so here you go so you will see here instead of like for example you have a 10 right so here you have a 10 and then 9.9, 9.8, then 9. Point, not the 9.7, 9.7000000001, right? So and 9.6000001, and eventually it go beyond that and get this two and three and four and so and so forth. Then it does not hit the zero, but it go beyond the zero because of this extra values you have, right? So now you understand why floating points are troubling us. What is the problem with the floating points, right? There are multiple uh, solutions for this. So one would be like use appropriate data type. If you're a Java developer, you can use uh, big decimal, right? If you're not a Java developer, you need to find appropriate data type for your language to uh, what, how to overcome this problem. And there's other way like, for example, if it's a currency or something like that. So you can store in the minimal places, like for example, like let's say have a let's say you get 99 cents as a one dollar then 1.99 one dollar and 99 cents you can store as a 199 directly in a sense format and when you present back you can divide by uh, 100 and get the real value and you can do this for most of currencies as the currencies usually have a two decimal places like for example in sri lanka and india you get rupees and rupees and the cents 99 cents and 100 cents is equal one rupee you can do that but be careful that may introduce some more errors right so the ideal solution would be you use appropriate data type for this like a big decimal for uh, java right so now i hope you clear about the problem and i know i hope you clear how to overcome this and also if someone asks this question from you who i hope you know how to answer and not only the answer most of people do the answer but they don't know why this answer comes right i, I hope you know the why part as well then uh, share this video and if you uh, think something else or some different uh, things and if you have some more information about this put comment below so we can uh, share with other people and share this video uh, with your friends and uh, like and subscribe because when you like and comment it will be a real encouragement me to do more and more videos like this then see you in the next video stay safe Take care.